This is part 38 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss pair session instance context mode in WCF with an example. This is continuation to part 37, so please watch part 37 before proceeding. When the instance context mode for a WCF service is set to pair session, a new instance of the service object is created for each new client session and maintained for the duration of that session. The default session timeout is 10 minutes. Let's understand pair session instance context mode with an example. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session. Let's flip to Visual Studio. If you recollect from the previous session, for this simple service, we have set the instance context mode to pair call. At the moment, the service host is already running. Let's go ahead and run the client. And notice that the number doesn't get incremented beyond 1. And the reason for that is very simple. This is a pair call WCF service. So every time a method call is made, an instance of this simple service class is created and the method gets executed. As soon as the method returns the value, what's going to happen to the object? It gets destroyed. So there is no way for pair call services to remember a state between method calls even if those method calls are from the same client. So with pair call services, state maintenance is an issue. Let's say you have to convert this pair call service to a pair session service. All we need to do is change the instance context mode to pair session. And now this is a pair session WCF service. Let's close the host that's running and the client as well. Let's run the service host once again. Let's now run the client. And now look at the number. It gets incremented. And how is that possible? That's because when the first method call is made from the client to the WCF service, what's happening on the WCF service? It's going to create an instance of this class, simple service. Okay, so obviously this variable will be initialized to its default value since it's an integer it will be initialized to 0 and when this method is called it's going to increment 0 to 1 return 1 but will this object be destroyed right away no it doesn't why because it's a pair session service so the instance of this class is going to stay on the server memory until the session times out and what is the default session timeout 10 minutes so this object is going to stay on the server memory for the next 10 minutes. Within those 10 minutes, if a subsequent request come from the same client, then the same service instance is used to service that request. And that service instance object remembers the value. So the value is 1. So when increment number is called again, so it's going to increment that from 1 to 2, return the value to. And that's how it's able to remember a state between calls that came from the same client. But if it's a different client, no, between client, the state is not maintained. You know, the state of one client is not known by another client. Let's actually create a Windows Forms application as a client and, and look at those examples. So I have another instance of Visual Studio running. Let's create a new Windows Forms application here. Let's actually call it Windows Client. And we need to add a reference to our WCF service. And this is the URL where we have the metadata available. So it's going to generate the required proxy classes. Let's change the namespace to Simple Service. Click OK. So that's going to generate the proxy classes. Let's drag and drop a button control on the form. And let's change the text on the button to invoke service. Double click the button to generate click event handler. At the form level, Let's create a reference variable of type simple service client. And then within the form constructor, let's actually create an instance of our simple service client. And within the button click event, 
let's invoke increment number function and then display the incremented value within a message box and let's say number equals whatever number we get from the service all right let's go ahead and build the solution now obviously since this event was forms application there should be an executable generated so let's open the project in Windows Explorer navigate to bin and debug directory so there we have the executable let's double click it so there's one instance running let's double click again so there is another instance running so here at the moment we have two clients now when we click this button invoke service okay so the number starts at one click it again so number two click it again number three okay so now there is an instance of simple service class on the server for this client and that instance is going to stay on the memory for the next 10 minutes so within the next 10 minutes if this client makes a call look at that you know it's going to remember the state and increment the value from that point on okay now look at this at the moment the number is 4 for this client now here we have another client so when we click this button is the number going to continue you know I mean start at 5 or is going to start at 1 since this is a different client there will be a new session for this client which means a new service instance get created for this client and that service instance is going to stay on the memory for this client for the next 10 minutes so when we click this invoke service we get a value of 1 click it again number 2 now let's go back to this client when we click this look at that it continues from where it has left off okay so at this point since we have two active clients and their sessions have not timed out there will be two instances of this class on the server memory now if you have hundred thousand clients then you will have hundred thousand objects in the server memory now if the client let's say if this client is idle um, and not doing anything even then the object is going to stay in the memory until the session times out so with per session services the memory is not managed effectively because even if the clients walks away you know the objects are still going to stay in the server memory until the session times out but with per call services we don't have that problem why as soon as the method call returns what's going to happen the object gets destroyed so what are the implications of per session services first of all the advantage is state maintained between calls and the downside is greater memory consumption as service objects remain in memory until the client session times out so this is going to negatively affect application scalability concurrency is also an issue for multi-threaded clients now this is a very common interview question how do you design a WCF service would you design it as a per call service or a per session service now there is no universal answer for this this is a very tricky question we can't blindly say whether per call services are better or per session services are better each of these have their own strengths and weaknesses if you prefer object oriented programming style then per session is your natural choice on the other hand if you prefer SOA that is service oriented architecture style then per call is your choice in general all things being equal the main trade-off is performance versus scalability per session services perform better because the service object does not have to be instantiated on subsequent requests and why is that the object the service instance is going to stay on the server memory until the session times out and within that session timeout if there is a call from the same client you know the same object can be used to execute code and return the values okay so there is no overhead involved in instantiating object from the scratch so per session services perform better on the other hand per call services scale better 
because the service objects are destroyed immediately after the method call returns which means memory is effectively managed okay so the decision really depends on you know the application architecture performance and scalability needs that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day